Hello and welcome back to Living with Wedgners. I'm Wanda and as promised, I'm gonna share with you today the five lifestyle changes I made to help Wedgners go into remission. As you know, I'm a Wedgners gramolitosis patient and I have had it for 19 years, but the last two years it's been in remission. And some of the things are what I'm gonna share with you today. Number five on my list is sleep, getting enough rest. During the times that I've been sick, I definitely did not try to get enough rest. I was still working and so I would work 12 to 16 hours a day, sometimes be busy upon busy upon busy, and always on the go. But one of the things that I needed to get was rest because for a chronic illness patient, rest is so important to help our bodies replenish itself and to actually try to repair itself from our day-to-day -day damage. And so number five on my list is getting enough rest. You need to get enough rest too. And I know it's difficult because sometimes our pain is so great or the medication that we're on is, you know, causes insomnia. And so sometimes it's difficult, but in those instances, reach out to your doctors for some assistance because that's what I did. And sleep worked wonders for me. Number four, exercise. So while I was sick, I could barely walk. I could barely move sometimes. And I was on so much prednisone, I was like, why exercise? I'm gonna gain all this weight anyway. And then I came across my Wedgner hero named Emily and had a post about exercising even while you're on prednisone. And it inspired me to actually start exercising. And so I started small. I just started with walking. It was free, easy to do, while you're not on treatment and also you could do it anywhere and so i started with walking and since then i've added a little bit of strength training because once i came off of prednisone i lost all my strength and so now i do those things to keep myself in shape and to help stay in remission number three is food this is probably the most controversial thing on my list of five because doctors don't believe that food has anything to do with chronic illness, and I beg to differ. If I can share one little story with you, I'm definitely gonna do a longer video on food, but if I could just share one story with you, back in January of 2020, everybody knows 2020 as COVID, but at the end of the year, I had started getting sick, and so in January, when I did my blood work, my inflammation in my blood from the C-reaction protein test was 148.9. And my church was going on a Daniel fast, which is for 21 days, giving up all meat, dairy, bread, yeast, sweeteners, soft drinks, tea, everything. And in those 21 days, I had nothing but fruits, vegetables, whole grains. I had um, water to drink and fruit, all some fruit smoothies. And during that time, I felt more energy. I felt better even before having the treatment. And by the time I went in to give my blood work, my inflammation was down to a four. From 148 to a four was major. So when someone says that food really doesn't have anything to do with it, and even my doctor was like, well, I think it's because I put you on prednisone or because I put you on this or that. And I was like, no, I beg to differ. And so what I did was, which was probably a little naughty of me, but what I did was after she said that the food didn't matter, I started eating everything before my next test. And by the time I went back, my inflammation had went up and I had already had rituxan treatment. And so you see, food for me is major. It is one of the most powerful things that I could do for my remission. Now, is it difficult? Yes, because it's something I'm putting on myself. It's not something that the doctors believe in, but I believe in it because I know my body. But food is major and for me, it definitely keeps my Wedgners at bay. When I eat what I'm not supposed to eat, it seems to trigger it. And so that's one of the most important things I can share with you. I try to eat as much of a plant-based diet as I possibly can. Is it easy? Oh no, because I was a carnivore before I got sick. It's extremely difficult and every now and then I wanna cheat. I know the consequences and I can come out of remission just that quick. 
And so for me, food is very important. And I even tried to share it with a few people that they should really try checking their diet. And one of the men was just like, I'd rather have the treatments. I'd rather do chemo than to change my diet. Would you rather do chemo than eating the right foods for your body? I don't know, it's a decision only you can make. Because remember, you have to learn your body. You have to know what your body can take and cannot take. Maybe you can't do a plant-based diet. Maybe your diet has to do meat. But you really should take the time. Start a journal. Start journaling your food intake and see what makes you feel better and what makes you feel worse. See if you can put your disease in remission by how you eat and your food intake. Number two, support system. You cannot do this alone. When I first got sick, I was a loner. I was Miss Independent. I never wanted to ask anybody for anything. I didn't need anybody's help because I could do it on my own. But when I got wedge nurse, it knocked me off my feet. And I needed help. For the very basic of things, I couldn't even get out the bed on my own. I couldn't comb my own hair. I couldn't get myself dressed. And I needed help. Your tribe, your family, friends, your church group, healthcare professionals, support groups, let them help you. Because when you're sick, your loved ones see it. They feel it. They wish they could help you. And I'm sure you've seen it in their eyes when they look at you that they feel so helpless. Let them help you. If you don't have family and friends, there are home care professionals, advocates, that'll come and take care of you. Don't do this alone. Ask for help. It's there for you. One of my favorite things is my support groups that I have through Instagram. There are patients that have been through what I've been through. There are patients that have yet to go through what I go through. There are people who have family and loved ones that need support too. They're in it with you. They may not feel your pain and they may not be able to take it away, but they are there to support you. So let them do that, okay? The number one thing for me is a positive mindset. A positive mindset is hard to do when something is trying to take your life, but you gotta fight to stay positive because negative thoughts only bring self-pity and depression and it won't help you with none of the other things that I told you. I know how it feels. I know that it's very easy to get into a depression because when you get diagnosed, it's like, why me? Why did this have to happen to me? And it can take you down a rabbit hole that you really don't wanna go. But if you're watching me right now, you have a chance of remission if you're not already there. You're looking at me, somebody that's been in remission for two years, so you know it's possible. And you can hold on to that positive thought instead of being negative. Because all the things I told you before with the negative mindset, you won't even try it. You won't ask for help. You won't let your family in or anybody support you. You won't eat right. You won't exercise. And you definitely won't get any sleep because you'll be in such a state that everything will be going through your mind on and on and on. And you'll start thinking of everything negative. But what about the positive? You're alive right now. You are living. You are watching me right now. And that means that you, too, can go into remission. And not just me, there's other chronic illnesses that people have gone into remission for many years. So it's possible. The thing that I'm saying to you is that the medication they give us and the treatments that they give us only go so far. They only go so far. You have to take control of your own body and of the things you put in your body to help it go into remission. It's not gonna be that medication alone. Trust me when I tell you. I've had my worst battles with Wedgner's. It's been rough, but I've made it through. All these things I've shared with you, the mindset, a positive one, the systems, your support system, 
the eating, the exercise, the sleep, it all helps taking that thing into remission. But it's like you're helping yourself. The other thing with the positive mindset is what do you believe? Your belief system helps you send this thing into remission. For me, it's faith. I believe that God can heal me of this disease, but even if he doesn't, he's capable of it, but even if he doesn't, I'm still gonna serve him. My mantra is Psalms 118 and 17. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Because in spite of Wedgner's, in spite of all the pain I've been through, out of that pain came my book. Faith, A Memoir in Poetry is a book I never thought I would write, but I thank God for it because many people have been blessed by it. In it, they felt my pain and my hope. And I don't know what's gonna come out of your pain, but I'm asking you to hang in there during the tough times. Use a positive mindset when you start feeling yourself going down. Watch positive things to uplift your spirit. Let your support system help you. Eat right, exercise in between your flare-ups, and get plenty of rest. And remember to find out what will help your body go into remission. Listen to your body and take care of you until I see you next time.